All right, I'm gonna make sure our audio works fine here. Yep, very good. I welcome everybody. It is a great afternoon here in Omaha and I have Dave Pimper with me, hanging out, ready to share some good information with you. Dave is a top producer for IAMS, has been for a very long time. I won't tell you how many years because I don't wanna date you there, um, but it's a, um, it's always on, uh, an honor having him on board. He does some coaching and uh, planning with us, and he's just uh, kind of one of our OGs at IAMS, been on board for a long time and helps out a lot of agents. Um, he's going to work with us today on how required minimum distributions work um, and how you can really use that to help you grow your business. I'm going to hand it over here to Dave and... Hang in there. If you have any questions, type them in as he's presenting, and we will get to those questions at the end. Hold on here. Well, how's everybody doing today? My name is Dave Pemper, and I am a coach, and I've coached for many, many years in the financial service arena. And I will say this right now, most people really don't have a real inside uh, understanding of required minimum distributions. So what happens here is, is that, um, what happens here is, is that RMDs, required minimum distributions, all they are, and this actually says age 72, and now it's age 73, but that's that's on on uh, uh, pre-tax 401ks, IRAs, 403bs, thrift savings plans, SEP simples, all those types of uh, company retirement plans or individual retirement plan. If you got that tax rate going in, you're going to go in and start paying, uh, take X amount out so the government can collect their tax dollar at the age of 73. The SECURE Act, first one went to age 72, SECURE Act 2.0 went to 73, which was implemented on 1.1 of this year. So what happens is, is just know that that required minimum distribution, it's a taxable event when it comes out, and, and what happens is, is that that percentage goes up every single year for as long as you live. It starts out at 3.65% at age 73, and it goes up from there. Okay, so you gotta ask yourself, when do you have to take? So here's how it works. Let's just say that you've got an account balance in an IRA on December the 31st of last year, meaning 2022, it was $100,000. Let's say you just turned 73, this is your first year. So. You've got to go in and you take out 3.65%, $3,650. That has to come out, it, unless it's the first year, you got an option. But after the first year, always that by December the 31st of the next year. If it doesn't come out in time, it can, can be up to a 25% penalty. So it's extremely important you take out. Now, the first year, you actually have an option. You can do it at the end, uh, December 31st, or you can go and take it out April 1st of the next year. You can bypass that whole year. But now you got one due from the year before on the 31st, so you're taking two RMDs out in the same year. Most people don't want to do that because it could put them into a higher taxable bracket. Now, let's talk about how they're calculated. You go in and there is a there's a chart. It's a, it's a it's a uniform life table. It, it's for married, or for single, and then if there's ten years different age, there's a there's a uniform life table for each one of those demographics. Remember, I said that 3.65 percent. That's actually you're forced at age 73 now. But at 80 years old, you take out five percent. 90 year old, you take out 10 percent. And if you're the age of my living mother. She has to take out 16% out of her IRA. That's pre-tax. Now, if you have a Roth, there is no required minimum distribution unless it's an inherited or a 10-year rule IRA. Otherwise, if it's just your individual or a spousal, there's no RMDs on a Roth. We're talking about pre-tax dollars. If you have any questions, type them on in. I'll be more than happy to, to answer those for you. Now. Uh, except there talks about the non-inherited. Yeah, just the different kind of ones and profit sharing plans, 403B, SEP simples, uh, traditional IRAs, all of those play a part, okay? Now, 
Remember I said some of them that aren't subject to the required minimum distribution withdrawal rules? Well, Roth 401ks are not. Roth 403bs, Roth 457s, um, Roth um, um, IRAs. No, they don't have required minimum distributions. That's one of the beautiful things. Now, you get the no benefit of going in on a tax-free Roth, but there's a big, big benefit, not just that it's tax-free when you take it out, as long as you hold it for five years or longer, but also there is no required minimum distribution. Okay? Remember that penalty? Well, it used to be 50%, but now it's 25%. They've come down. It's, it's still one of the more penal penalties, if not the most penal penalty that there is working with investments. But on withdrawals, if you don't pay that by or take it out by the end of the year, the government can come on in and they can, and they can, um, they can go in and certainly penalize you. Now, there are a couple of exceptions on 401ks and 403bs, you can be over that age of 73. If you're still working there, you can delay taking required minimum distributions until you are no longer employed with that company. Again, if there's any questions, type them on out. So let's talk about how you take them out. Let's say that you got five IRAs. 20,000 each, 100,000. A lot of people think you got to take them out because you're going to get issued from that issuing uh, custodian from that investment or a, a fixed index annuity. You're going to go on in and get a statement that says you owe this much on this IRA, but you know what all your other IRAs are. You can aggregate them. You can put them all together take them out of one, two, three, four, five. Doesn't make any difference. All the all, all the government wants their money. It, there is a difference on, on, on um, uh, 401ks and 403bs. There they have to be out separately. SEPs and SIMPLES, no. Those are more of the IRA side. They can come out from aggregate. And why does, again, why does the government do this? They want their money. They gave you a break going in when the seed was planted, and now that the uh, harvest is, is um, or, or the bounty is harvested, the big bounty, they're getting taxes on that big bounty. Okay. It's really not called the inherited IRA, though it is it is a type of inherited IRA, they, or, or stretch. They call it a 10-year rule. So when the government came out a couple years ago, actually in 2000, from, from the uh, first act, first SECURE Act, they said that you didn't have to take out any money, just all had to be out of there by 10 years. Well, then about six months ago, they said, oops, we were wrong. You have to take out an RMD every single year. They didn't penalize the people who didn't because it wasn't a ruling. They just said you didn't have to. That's what we all thought, but now you do. So there is a required minimum distribution each year. You can take out more, of course, but it has to be 100% out of the account by the end of the 10th year. Now, this gets kind of, but the, the, it's, it's upon the age or of the death. And actually, age 70, 70, half, 70 and a half, 72, or now 73, but it's when that person did die. And that's, it, it, it's real important. That death date is very important, okay? Are they complicated? RMDs can be. I love the show Hoosiers. And you got Gene Hackman. He goes on in this little town and people are being kind of rude to him. And he said, real friendly people here. And the principal says, can be. Well, that's how... A complicated RMDs can be. They can be complicated. If you miss that penalty, it's not a 50%. It, it, it miss the the um, the, the uh, distribution date, but 25%. That, that's still very very expensive. You don't want to make a mistakes when you're working with uh, required minimum distributions. There's an old saying. It says, "Procrastination is my sin. It brings me constant sorrow." I really shouldn't practice it. Perhaps I'll stop. Well, you know what? Tomorrow never comes. 
if you heard something today that you think could help you, maybe learning more about required and minimum distributions, learning maybe something more about the sales process. I coach those. Learning something more about seminar marketing or actually doing a social security seminar. I do a lot of social security coaching, retirement boss radio. Yeah, I mean, I, I, have, I have an hour radio show that's recorded. If you've got a question, absolutely mark yes on this. Lisa Marie, who is my co-host today, and she introed me, she will go in and give you a call, most likely today, I would say. And 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 if you mark yes, take the call. I mean, don't don't ignore her. She she's busy. You guys are busy. You're in sales. Time is money. So I'll say right now, I coach people on uh, retirement planning, social security, seminar marketing, and then individual. I just got a a, a fellow who's coached me many times. He's got a new fella. And he says, hey, I just want you to do a, an hour session or 45 minute hour session on closing. He's having trouble with his closing. I charge $200 for that. You get attachments on closing, objection handling, presentation, fact finding, all different kind of things. It's, been, it's, it, it's a fun, fun industry. Things are real competitive right now within the fixed index and fixed uh, 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 demographics because of, of, of interest rates being so high. So. What happens here is, is that please mark, if you mark no, that's fine. At least we know we, 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 you know we won't call you back for this, but if you mark yes, you're gonna get together with me. It's gonna take about, I would say, um, 15, 20 minutes, get an idea what you do and to see if I can help you. So I'm gonna hand you over here with, to Lisa Marie and she's gonna kind of close out this program. All right. Thanks again, Dave, for joining us and for bringing us through this. Sometimes uh, it's difficult to keep track of all of these rules, and it's great to have someone that has been in the business for a long time and very familiar with how these work. Like Dave said, just you fill out that poll in progress and show us that um, you'd like some more information with Dave. I'm going to close out this poll here in about three seconds. And I do have one more thing that I want to ask you because we have one coming up here in Omaha. It's a Life and Annuity Academy. Um, those are coming up. Uh, that's coming up June 7th through the 9th here in Omaha. It's all expenses paid. Um, we do have um, some top producers that uh, talk at these academies and talk about sales process and talk about, um, we talk a little bit about product, but it really is about growing your business, how to find leads, how to talk to people, how to sell effectively and look out for your clients. Um, Dave has presented many times at these academies. You'll get to see our offices. So if you'd like more information on that, I'll just uh, mark yes and I'll shoot you an email and give you a call and see if you have any questions. We're always here to help. Again, if you ever need anything, you can just give us a call, 800-255-5055. Ask for Lisa Marie, and I'll say that number one more time so you can jot it down, 800-255-5055, or you can just mark yes in any of these polls and I'll make sure to give you a shout and make sure you're taken care of. I'm about to close this poll, so if you haven't voted yet that you would like some info on the Academy, please do in three, two, one. Good job, everybody. It was so nice seeing some familiar names on our list, and it's always great to have Dave on board. Thanks again. You guys have a great rest of your day.